The clamp CSS function is a great tool for making your headers on your website responsive. In this video tutorial, we're going to go over how to implement this into making your website more responsive. What? Hello, my name is Roger and I'm with Saga Pixel. If you've ever been working with a mock-up in XD, Figma, or any other software, you may have run into an issue that once you actually get into building the website, the font sizes on different devices, for example, on desktop, they may not be as responsive as you would like to be um, compared to the mock-up. So in this video, what we're gonna do is use the CSS clamp tool, which will allow us to create a low end, a high end, as well as a middle ground for all of your fonts. And this way they will remain responsive on all devices. Let's do an example of where you might run into this. So here we are, um, Set your developer hand that you want the design and we have this header here and into the design the h1 is 115 pixels on desktop mode and we have a fixed box width for the section of 1200 so normally this would be okay um, in certain areas but if we go to the page here and let's just refresh and if we go to uh, like 1920, yes, the 115 pixels works okay. But as you can see, as you get into a smaller screen before we even hit tablet mode, we're having all sorts of issues with the text. So normally to address this, what you would maybe do is use a view width setting. Uh, so if we did this to 5.99, that's what it is for 115 pixels. You know, it seems to work okay on the smaller sizes, but as you go bigger and say for example we go all the way up to uh, 2560 again we're running into issues so in order to address this what we like to do is implement a clamp so clamp is a um, CSS function and essentially what you get to do is define a uh, minimum and a maximum as well as a middle ground and then basically if the font size deviates outside of that area at either end it will lock it into that um, maximum or minimum uh, so say for example here um, if the font ever gets smaller than uh, one root M uh, or greater than two root M it's going to no longer um, expand beyond those sizes so let's try that out really quick if we go into here and we edit the heading uh, recently Elementor made it so that you can actually put in a uh, custom text here for the sizes for certain things so I'm going to do that previously you would have to do this as custom CSS uh, and set up media queries which I will cover because you may need to do uh, more specific breakpoints but for general purpose we can quickly just go into here and I'm going to type in clamp and then again we just have to define the three variables so I'm going to do something like 60 pixels as the minimum we have 5.99 view width for the responsive number and we're going to do 115 pixels for the max so now if we save this and we come back and refresh here you'll see here that now on the 2560 screen or size uh, resolution we're fine the 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 font stops at the 115 pixels and I'll, I can show you this over here in the dev tools. Let me get these side by side really quick. All right, so you can see here, I have the dev tools up. Here's the font size right now, the H1. And you can see, even though we're shrinking, it's not changing. But once we get to the point where the view width allows for the font to be under 115 pixels, there you can see it starts to take over and resize. And then if we went all the way down to the minimum, it would do the same thing. All right, so this should be a very useful tool in helping you uh, keep your headers responsive and your website layout responsive. What?